I love these 1500 watt oil filled space heaters even though they're a flawed design. And the flaw is that they can only safely radiate 600 watts. These all have a thermostat of sorts and three power settings which are around 600 watts, around 800 watts, and full power, this one around 1400 watts. But on this one right now, it's set to one and I've got 588 watts. But even if I crank it up, the power level doesn't change no matter what I set it to. And that's because this one's been on for 10 minutes and the internal overheat thermostat on it has already tripped, disconnecting the high power element. So basically on any level, it just has the low level element turned on. And before I heard that uh, thermostat click, there was some disconcerting noises coming out of it. This sound. And I think that sound is from the oil inside boiling around the heating element, which is down here. Now, if I want to get 1500 watts continuous out of one of these, I could just put a fan in front of it to keep it cool. But the reason I like these so much is they have no moving part and they're completely silent. If I want something with a fan, I could just buy one with a fan built in. These cost a lot less and they'll put out their rated power continuously. With the overheat protection thermostat cutting out the high power element, the low power element is still turned on. Now if this were covered up with a blanket, for example, we'd still need to turn that off. But the overheat protection thermostat doesn't actually cut that out, so that's not exactly safe either. So on some of these heaters, the overheat protection actually cuts off both elements. Problem with that is then the whole heater cools down and the overheat protection thermostat, which is a teeny teeny tiny little thing like this, then ends up cycling on and off to essentially regulate the power level to something safe. The problem is these things are only meant to be used for overheating. They're not meant to cycle on and off continuously. So on some heaters where this cycles on and off all the time, these break eventually. And seeing that levels two and three on these heaters are unsafe and useless, I've had the idea of changing the wiring a little bit to add me a level that is between zero and one. Let's pop this one open. And it's got these uh, security screws to keep me from opening it. So what we've got in here is two heating elements, one between these two pins and one between these two pins. And they're tied together here. Um, level one goes straight to the thermostat up here. Level two goes through this overheat protection to a thermostat. So if it overheats, this cuts it out. And then for level three, it just connects both of those together at the same time. And I realized there's also uh, this thing here, which is sort of a thermal fuse and that cuts out the power as a whole. So if that one trips, it won't come back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the common on one and then put the one on the two so that if element one is turned off, the current has to go through both elements in series. And I'll put the wire for two onto the one. So we switch to level two, then we have level one. And then if we switch to level three, that doesn't really do anything different. It's just the same thing, uh, the low power element. So that should give me about 400 watts for one and about 600 watts for two and three will also be 600 watts. And now to test this, I have to at least put the front upright because this thing here is a tip over sensor that cuts off power to the whole thing. The uh, dial is just a thermostat. Problem is that measures the temperature of the heater, not the room. And this is a switch that selects the uh, different elements. Got my ohmmeter hooked up just to check it before I plug it in. So level one is now 40 ohms, whereas before it was 23 ohms. Level two is 23 ohms, which is what level one was before. And so is level three. So now I have 360 watts for level one. 620 watts for level two and level three reads the same. Of course, what I could also do is just turn the thermostat back on here and then it'll cycle on and off to average some intermediate power level. But I just don't like these things clicking on and off because then they're also thermal cycling and creaking a little bit. It's much nicer just to have it steady state and not making any sound at all. And opening up the other one, 
I'm delighted to see this one has a second cutout thermostat that cuts off power entirely. But uh, it looks like it has a little button on it, which is to say if the second thermostat trips because it got overheated with blankets on it or something, you have to open it up and push this button, which of course most people never would. Oh no, this one's soldered on. So I got my uh, new power levels marked on here, so I know this one is different. And the slight correction, if the way it was before, if this is set to level 2, only the high power element is used, which the overheat thermostat will eventually shut off because it gets too hot, and then there's nothing turned on, so that means the overheat thermostat uh, cycles on and off. Not good for it, because these don't last forever. So better to use level 3 than level 2 because level 3 is essentially level 1 once the overheat kicks in and it stays kicked in. And on this little heater, this one only claims to be 500 watts. It also has one of these things. And if I turn this thing up anything beyond here, the overheat thermostat will kick in. And I had to replace that thermostat on this one because it wore out from clicking on and off. Which is to say this small one has the same problem as the bigger one. The element is stronger than what it can safely radiate with the size of the fins it has. But I love using these. Aside from being quiet, if you have one near you, you feel warm long before the whole room is hot because you can just feel the heat radiating off of you. Essentially infrared. Similar to something like uh, this infrared heater, and I use one of those in the shop because this big room is pretty much impossible to get really warm. But with this aimed at me, I feel warm even without the room being warm. And I have a bunch of these in the house and I also have temperature sensors anyways. And so I use a bunch of smart plugs like this connected to these heaters to regulate the temperature. Only downside is to set the temperature, I have to edit a Python script that manages all of this, which means only I can set the temperature, which isn't a bad thing. <laughs> 